All right, guys, so today I'm going to talk about it's Real Talk Tuesday, and so I wanted to address some things that uh, came up in the group. So I'm here in Funnel Hacker Pro. We had a, a little book giveaway, and uh, if you're not a member of Funnel Hacker Pro, um, you need to come over here. It's soon to be Freedom Hackers, but uh, for right now, it's um, FunnelHackerPro.com. Come on over. We, you know, People are engaging and talking to each other, and it's just a good very intimate group of people. I don't let everybody in. I tell a lot of people to fuck off. So when you come in, make sure you answer the three questions because if you don't, I'm going to tell you to fuck off really quickly. All right, so moving on. Um, I, I had this extra book, and um, I said, well, I wanted to give the book away. and I wanted people to tell me their top three problems you have with your business, and and, and just I like to try to you know help people out, right? So Chris Harper says that um, he's adding too much extra shit to this pilot program and that's exactly right and stalling because i just won't pull the fucking trigger which is fucking stupid chris um your answer is right there right um just start working man and like a, a lot of entrepreneurs what they're saying nowadays is you know um fire ready aim right so in other words pull the trigger get it done and then you can aim later you can figure out and dial it in later but I'm telling you now, and I learned this from Frank Kern, that momentum is real. If you can just get enough momentum to uh, start working, the kinks will work themselves out. You'll find out what you add. Now, adding too much, it, yeah, just go with one, pick one, and go. That's it, right? Um, the little kid that uh, did that interview um, said pick one and go. And so, Chris, uh, in, in general, we already talked about your uh, – your niche we boiled that down to one sport we know you're in the sports uh in athletic athletic niche and we know we, we we dialed that down to one sport so now you take that one sport and you pick out one you know class or whatever it is you're gonna do and you start working on that right everything else stop fucking around man stop stop bullshitting around and that's just what that is right so now working capital and trying too much at one time again uh k just do one thing you have to pick one thing, right? So let me give you an example. Uh, my One of my star students, my star pupil, Blake Tobes, you see him over here, right? This dude is doing e-com right now, and he's making money, and he hit me. He was like, yo, Sonny, I made over 600 bucks, you know, in e-com. So immediately, you know, I hear money, you know, shit, I'm just like anybody else. Well, fuck, I want to make some money too, Blake, but I can't do that. I need to focus on one thing, and I need to do that one thing really good, right? And I don't want to do e-commerce, right? And when I do e-commerce, it's good, it's not going to be, you know, just selling. I, I won't even tell you what he sold because it's so fucking nasty. But I, I won't. <laughs> I, I'm not going to do e-commerce and try to be everything and be everywhere. You need to pick one thing and trust yourself. It's going to work. Now you have to do your research and make sure that you have a, a viable market. And as long as you're in a nice, healthy, competitive market, right. And you have nice competition and there's people selling books and they're selling courses in your niche, right? That's the only thing you need to check. If you have a, an idea for a niche, make sure that they're selling that product. They're selling, you know, classes to that product. They're selling books on that product, whatever your niche is. And you have a nice, healthy product. It's going to work. Pick it, stick to it and go. Now, inconsistent sales and marketing capital capital. Now, inconsistent sales. Sales are a direct reflection of your effort. If you're getting inconsistent sales, it's because you're putting forth an inconsistent effort. And it's just true. I know you're thinking to myself, no, fuck you, son. It's not true. I work every day. No, you're working in the wrong areas of your business. If sales are what you're concerned about and working capital is the next thing here, then you have two uh, assets or you have two types of currency. Let's just say that there's two types of currency with business. Number one is money. That's your number one currency. Your business will eat all of it if you allow it to. Take all of your money that you can and dump it in that hole and your business will eat it all. The second currency that you have is time and your business will eat all of that currency as well. Take all the time that you can dump into that hole and your fucking business will eat it every time. So if you're having inconsistent sales, then that means that and you don't have any money, 
then you need to spend a different type of currency, which is time. And then you need to learn how to focus that time into one area and concentrate that, which is your sales. No sales, no business, right? So we need to work on what can uh, what we can do proactively, proactively to get more sales. And so now I'm going to take us to the blackboard. So we know that we want more sales, okay? And let's just say, for instance, we sell widgets, but we don't have time. We don't have money, so our currency is time. So if you had a currency of actual money or... My wife is going to clown me here, but I'm going to do it good anyways. Right? That's my clock. You see? So that's a good clock. Okay. <laughs> so you either have time or you have money, right? So what can we do to get more sales? Well, the first thing we could do is purchase ads. Okay. So, but since we don't have any um, money for ads, then what we have to do is social media and doing a lot of posts there. We need to go to message boards and we need to spend more time there. We need to do some cold outreach depending on what your business is, okay? And we need to write more blog posts, but we need people to see those blog posts. So we need to outreach to influencers, okay? To make sure that they can link our blog posts, right? So let me give you a quick example of how you can do that. So there's a little place called Epic Beats, okay? Epic Beat, and then there's another one that's called Buzz Sumo, okay? Now, I have Epic Beat. I caught the caught the deal, the lifetime deal for 49 bucks. I got lucky. And so for you, you can use Buzz Sumo free for two weeks, okay? And what you do is let's just say that... Uh, your business is in uh, knitting, yarn, okay? So you run a search for yarn and yarn uh, blogs or whatever, and you find the top 10 or top 20 um, articles that have been shared, you know, over 3,000 times and find the influencers that shared that article. Make sure that those influencers got at least three to five retweets, okay? And make sure they have at least, you know, 3,000 to 5,000 followers, okay? So that's your criteria there. So now you go do your search on BuzzSumo, you find those influencers, and then you go to hunter.io, okay? And you go look for their email addresses, okay? You do some cold outreach and you say, hey, I wrote this awesome blog article. You go to their blogs, you comment a couple of times, you make some type of relationship first, maybe email them and say, hey, man, I really like your content. And then after three weeks, I have another video on that. And then after three weeks or so, you shoot them emails and say, hey, I wrote this blog. I would th thought that your, your audience uh, could get some value out of this. Write an epic blog. It needs to be epic. It needs to be the yarn epic epic post of the century. That right there, that outreach to those influencers could get super eyeballs on your article. The next thing you could do is take that same article and post it on medium.com and then post that article out to all of your friends and tell them to go click the hand clapping thing. The more popular it is that you can end up and you could do that same article on Medium and get all of these outreachers and bloggers to give you the hand clapping thing. If you get viral on Medium, boom, you're done. Let's see the next um, the next uh, currency that you could use for time in order to get your article big. That Quora, the one that does the questions and answers, go on there and look for people that talk about yarn. There's going to be a lot of questions. And what you can do is go to, uh, if you had it again, one of these search engines and then search for, I think it's Quora spelled like that, right? And look for the phrase yarn. Okay. And then look for uh, the number one between one and 10 that show up on Google on the first page in the first between the first and 10 positions and make sure that the search term gets more than a thousand searches per month. 
You're going to see questions come up for Yarn on Quora that haven't been answered. Give a really nice answer, man. Answer your ass off. Take that blog, that Yarn post of the, of the fucking year and post that on Quora as your answer. You're going to get votes, okay? And that'll just sit there on number one on Google, getting all those votes, and people can see that, especially if there's a bunch of lame answers on there. And again... I've seen posts with 5,000 to 10,000 views, okay? So these are just a few growth hacking uh, things that you can do and invest your currency of time and doing something to make your business grow every day. Search growth hacking, uh, look at every growth hacking post that you can possibly find. And the reason why you wanna do that is because you have more time than money. OK, and that's your other currency. So, OK, I hope that helps you out with that because you don't need working capital. You need. Well, you do. You have currency. Your working capital is time. So you need to spend more time with your business so you can get consistent sales. As soon as you start getting the word out there, posting a blog post, posting up YouTube videos. I don't know, just to say if it was yarn or whatever it is that you do, do something really valuable, kind of like the video that I'm doing right now. And people will pay attention. Um, ideas. Um, all you need to do is just look around for for uh, inspiration, man. You need to look around more. Don't copy someone. Just keep looking around at different business models. You'll find one you like. And what I good, what I'm good at doing is being a hybrid person, right? So back to the blackboard again. So let's clean this up really quickly, and I want to show you what I'm good at doing, okay? So in the beginning, um, God created the heavens and earth. No, let's let's say that um, I saw Russell Brunson, okay? He had a, um, a podcast called Marketing in Your Car, and he gave away a MP3 player, okay? With all of his marketing podcast on the MP3 player. But I didn't have... Um, I like the business model, right? But I didn't have 300 podcasts at the moment to give to someone on an MP3 player, right? And he was doing a free plus shipping model. And I like that. And then I also saw um, Todd Brown had what he called the book, the borrowed book funnel, okay? And what he did was he talked to Dr. Robert Cialdini about his new book called, um, uh, it was called, um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's, oh, it was, per, the first one is Persuasion. This one is Presuasion. And what the book is talking about is everything that you do before you get the customer, before the person actually gets to you on how to persuade them beforehand, Okay. And what he did was, was he said, I'm going to give you the book free plus shipping. And then you talk about the bonuses. What I did was I interviewed Dr. Robert Cialdini. And then I did a course on how you can apply the persuasion things to your business and in your funnel. And he listed a whole bunch of bonuses. You get the book free plus shipping. And then on the up, and then he did an upsell on his continuity um, thing for a newsletter for his continuity pro program. But I didn't have Dr. Robert Cialdini and I didn't have uh, a book to give away, right? But I liked the idea of a borrowed book funnel. So I had these two business models and what could I do? I saw that Ty Lopez was really popular in the fucking, in the media. So what I did was I had Ty Lopez's course I did a borrowed course funnel, okay? And so what I did was I offered my notes for Ty Lopez uh, for free plus shipping on an MP3 player that came from where? Russell Bunt Brunson, right? And my upsell was get digital access. Well, you know what that is, what I'm supposed to say, right? Right now. A total hybrid from two different business models that I liked, right? I put it together, and that thing has made me over $50,000 so far. So what you need to do is look around more often and find two or three different business models that you like, right? And then put those together. Credibility comes really easy once you've put together what you need. People will give you 
reviews immediately once you have it. With copywriting, there is nothing you can do with copywriting but write, okay? Now, performing instead of selling, I don't get what you mean now. Headlines to move the soul, you got to do it. Uh, not running enough test campaigns, do it, dude. Beat it. Now, <laughs> no ad budget to fund your experiments. Remember the currency we talked about earlier? No payment processing in Mexico. Excuse. That's an excuse. Stop it. Copywriting? Well, you got to start doing it, right? Clueless customers. Fucking join the club. I feel you on that. There's nothing you can do. Everybody's just going to be clueless. Now, no budget for split testing. See uh, currencies number one and two again, right? And being a novice in social media marketing, start marketing yourself. Do it yourself. There's no other better way to learn how to be a, I'm not even a social media marketing agency, but I can tell you that I can market myself on social media because I'm doing it every day, right? I market myself on social media and I can tell any agency how to do it because I am currently marketing myself on a daily basis. Learning how to be a social media marketing, a marketing uh, agency is nothing more than this, right? Social media is exactly what it means. It's social media. My wife and I had a conversation about this earlier. It's social media. And people on social media don't want to buy your shit. They're like, fuck you. What's in it for me? So you need to post up tons of value on what you what your niche is and what your people want if you don't do your avatar you're flailing around like the little muffler dude with the airbags in front of the muffler thing just flailing all over the place right offer tons of value for what your niche off what they want and then direct the traffic which is what a funnel is right direct the traffic to go where you need it to go and it'll end up to the cha-ching but remember, giving up tons of value is what's necessary on social media. So what you need to do is start giving up that value in big, big, in a big way. Now, remember the currency we talked about. If you don't have any money, then you need to spend every minute that you have right here. My wife's going to clown me again. That's a clock, right? Every minute that you have, you need to spend that currency working on your social media marketing agency. So if you have cash, then it doesn't make a difference. You can boost that post. You can pay to be everywhere. But if you can't pay to be everywhere, then that means that you need to do those hacks that I talked about earlier. Find about different little cold outreaches, trying to get people to do guest blog posts, get on every podcast that you can possibly get on and spend more time on your business. The shit works, right? So I heard Russell Brunson say the other day, all right, it's your dream 100, but I call it the top 100. And he's like, you guys don't do this. You need to do it. You need to list the top 100 people that you'd like to work with and start doing your cold outreach. He goes, I keep telling you to do it, but you won't do it. And the look on his face was priceless. It's not what he said. It was his body language. Totally like you guys are being total dumbasses. And I'm telling you, the look was like, I just made millions of dollars from doing this. And you're dumbasses if you don't. OK, so do your your top your dream 100s, start doing your cold outreach. And every time you get a chance, go over to your Google spreadsheets, set out who you're going to cold outreach and start working and twilling down that list every day. The more you work on it, the better you'll get coffee break.